Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Justine. Welcome back to Cooking with Justine. That's me. Today we're gonna make a red velvet cake with cheesecake icing, and we're gonna make it from scratch. I have a box here, already mixed red velvet cake, but I was like, nope, too easy. So I found a recipe on the internet. So if I'm looking off to the side here, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at what the hell this says. Two cups of flour, mm. all purpose. What's your purpose, sir? All. Let's just make way here. One. <laughs> um, two. Baking soda? Well, I got baking soda, I got baking soda. Baking soda? Baking powder. I got baking powder, I got baking powder. Teaspoon. That's the little one. Okay, baking powder, one teaspoon. Yeah, that looks good. I like the way you do me like that, like that. One teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Two. <laughs> There's some things that I ain't about. Measuring is one of those. One cup. Might be a little more. That's a lot of sugar. This is not good for you. Mm. That's definitely way more than a cup. One cup of vegetable oil. Things are going well. Things are going really well, actually. One cup. That's a lot of vegetable oil. I don't think this is very good for you. One cup of buttermilk. Also not good, like, this is not healthy. I wonder if I'm supposed to do this in like a certain order. Ooh, boy, yeah, this is not right. It's saying I'm supposed to do a lot of stuff separately and then put them all in together, but that's not, it's clearly not happening here. When do you expire? Not yet. Oh, shoot! I just lost a whole freaking egg. All right, well, two tisps. One, I think that was like two. Hmm, smells nice. Hey, let's make a red velvet cake, but you need food coloring because it's not actually red. Bollocks! Are you health conscious? Don't come here. It's gonna look like freaking Dexter just turned up in here. Why do I have two sugars? That was not a teaspoon. A half cup of prepared plain hot coffee. Get out of here, okay? And prepare for the brew. Half cup. Oh gosh, making a mess. That was more than half, which is very unfortunate because I wanted to drink it. Let's just blend this together and see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. Here we go, wish us luck. Give it a nice little mix around. You look all right. Stop. Drop. Open up shop. You're the Rough Riders. Whoa. I have more food in my hair than I think I have inside of this container right now. I thought the pan was going to be <laughs> twice this size. How do I flour it? Do I just throw flour on it? I feel like I saw my mom do this when I was little. She'd go like that, and then she'd go like this. This looks good. I think I did a good job. So let's put this into the oven. What did you say? Middle rack? Uh, okay. Looking good. You look like lasagna or something. So while our cake is cooking for however many minutes it's supposed to be cooking, uh, I'm gonna make the icing. Half a cup of butter. I'm gonna soften this. Cream cheese. Two eight ounce packages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's the problem. We need two of these. Mistakes were made. 
Oops. Oops, I said, on my. Didn't really mean to say on my. I'm done. Shoot. We'll just leave the butter. Two cups sifted. I ain't sifting nothing. Two cups, how many cups are in here? Like what's, what is, okay look, I'm sifting. Sift it like it's hot, sift it like it's hot. Looks like two cups to me. This is my first time ever using cream cheese before. I misread my directions. This is just not right, first of all. Why would anybody ever do this? Why would anyone ever do this, ever? I'm gonna keep asking myself this. I'm just creaming it together. I'm missing a whole stick of cream cheese. This can't be good. Like this looks disgusting. You just take a little peek. It looks like scrambled eggs. Mm. No! Ugh. I made a mistake. Guys. This is not good. Oh no. Uh, starting to rise up over top of this. Shoot. Mistakes have been made again. And then we have this. Like this does not look good. Some things happened while the camera was not on. As you guys may recall, I placed the cake in between two racks. Oh boy. Let's take a peek at what happened. Since you've been gone, we had to have an emergency rack extraction. So as you can see here, this is the rack. Racks on racks. This did not work out so well. You look awful, actually. We also had a problem with the icing, if you recall. It's chunky. Make do with what you've got. Hey, why not, why not ice the cake with a soup ladle? This is all I've got. This is all I've got. So sorry, Martha, Rachel Ray. Anyone who knows how to cook. Where's my cake? Should I, should I cut it? <laughs> All right, why not? Here we go. <laughs> nice little slice. I think I'll take a piece from the middle. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so gooey in the middle. <laughs> For as much crap as I have messed up, this taste Delicious. Do you know why? This is not good for you. I am going into cardiac arrest right now. Somebody call 911. My arteries are clogging on the dance floor. Whoa. Thanks so much for watching. This was making a red velvet cheesecake icing cake from scratch. And surprisingly, if you followed the recipe, maybe a little bit closer than I did, you might actually turn out with something fantastic. So make sure you guys like this video and be sure to subscribe, to sub 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 subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos when I post them. I'm gonna go save a piece of this for my sister and see what she thinks. No, I do not feel good. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do a giveaway of this awesome glass 3D sketched creation. I'm not really sure what to call it.